Welcome to this ASP.NET video tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can configure our website for uh, membership use. So, to get started, we're going to fire up Visual Web Developer. Okay, we're going to create a new website. Just click File, New Website. And I'll just call this one Membership System. Click OK. Okay, now the first thing we want to do before we dive into our form is we're going to go into our ASP.NET configuration tool. So from our Solution Explorer, click on the ASP.NET configuration tool. Okay, so now we are in our administration tool. First thing we want to do is click Security. Okay, so now we're in here first thing we want to do is we want to change our authentication type we want to change that from locally to the internet now the difference here is membership system can only be accessed from within your computer or locally um, from the internet anybody across the internet will be able to access this and so forth so once we do that, we're going to click Done. Okay, so now the next thing we want to do is we want to set up a user account. So I'll click on Create User. Okay, so now we're just going to type in a username. I'm going to put in a strong password. Let's contain one non-alphanumeric character and I'll just put in my hotmail address security question favorite color red and I'll click create user okay so now our, our user was successfully set up click continue to complete Okay, so our user has been created. Now we can close out this window. And now we're going to hop back into our visual web developer. Now the first thing we want to do is we want to specify what our users can see if they're logged in, whereas if they're not logged in. So the first thing we want to add is a login view. So to do that, we're just going to type in ASP. Just put in login view. So give this an ID of login view. It's good enough for me. We want this to run at server. And we can close that off. Now within our login view, we want to add two templates. We want to add a template for users that aren't logged in as well as a logged in user template. So to do that, we're going to create a anonymous template. And then we want to create a logged in template. Everything you put within the anonymous template is what your users will see when they're not logged in. So to do that, we'll just type in some text. Please log in. And we'll add a break tag. And underneath that we will put in our login control. So ASP Oops. Login. Login. We'll give this an ID of login control. And then as 
as well. We want this to run at the server. Then we can close that off. Okay, so now in our logged in template, if the user has successfully logged in, we want them to see a message that says welcome back. And then we want it to spit out the username. So to do that, start our ASP tag. Then we'll put in login name. We want this to run that server as well. And then we will give them, we'll show our status, whether we're logged in or not. But because we're in the logged in template, it's going to show that we're logged in. Okay, so ASP, and then we'll go login status. And we want that to run at the server as well. And there we go, that's your basic login. Um, let's build our form. Okay, so our build succeeded successfully. Now let's view this in our browser to make sure that everything works as planned. Okay, so we see our text, please log in. And then I'll use the credentials I used in the ASP.NET configuration tool. Or ASP.NET configuration tool. Okay, so you can see we're logged in. And we got the message that we wanted it to say, just welcome back, spits out our username, and our login status. Now if we click log out, we'll see our anonymous template again. So that's how you do a basic login, or how you could add a basic login control to your site, as well as a basic configuration of the membership system. In the next video, we're going to look at setting up a registration form, which is just as easy as setting up our login template. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.